What, what up, DC Gang? It's your boy, Drew. And this your girl, Cage. Back with another video. Yeah, yes, Back with some more of that Boondocks. Y'all already know what time mm -hmm. it is, man. Hey, we got a request to do the Boondocks Best References Cartoon in Real Part 1. Hey, y'all already know how these Boondocks are going, man. <laughs> yes. So make sure y'all like this video. Drop comments down below what y'all want to see next and mm -hmm. how y'all feel about this video right here down in the comment section. You ready to get into I'm it? I'm ready to get into it. I'm Let's ready to see you. But no, we ain't fine. fine. But I always say the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. What? Well, <laughs> right. Because you don't have evidence that something does exist I mean, does not mean that you have evidence that something doesn't exist. What? Hold so up. I'm, I'm Hold up. Let me take it back from the top, gang. Hold right. up, man. I got it. He confused the hell out of me just now, too. Ain't fine. But I always say the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. It's not the evidence of absence. What? Simply because you don't have evidence that something does exist does not mean that you have evidence that something doesn't exist. What? What country are you from? I kind of get it, bro. What? Yeah. what ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English in what? <laughs> what? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? And what did he say specifically to you? Say down, nigga. Keyshawn oh. Chambers is a freshman at Valley High School, a Boy Scout, a football player, a member of the ROTC, an honor roll student. He was hanging around his teacher's classroom door in December. The teacher told him to sit down, and the teacher says that Keyshawn used the N-word first. And I just kind of was stunned a second. Well, well, well then, get away from the door, nigga. How you say What? Get away from the door, nigga. Yeah, I, I repeated the same insult. Yeah, that's sort of what I've been trained to do. The school district mm -hmm. says what? that is not what they trained well, English teacher Paul Dawson to do. He tried to say I said it, and for some, and I didn't say it. Dawson says that students use the slang version of the N word at Valley High School all the time. He says. N I G G E R is a racial slur, but says that students use N I G G A as often as they say dude or hey man. And Dawson says, as much as he does not like the word, he still used the slang version to feel more comfortable with black students. Why, why is this word used so frequently? So he tried to try to cover up. Yeah. I just, I just don't understand it. Now you understand. And I'm trying to understand it. I need help. Yes, I I use nigga. Oh, look how you say that. I, I I used it. I admit it. Look I how she looked. She looked like nigga. Yeah, you know, nigga, nigga, this, nigga, nigga, please, nigga. Hey, you know, can you lend a nigga a pencil? What kind of example are you setting for your students if you use a word that you don't want them to use? Right. Upon reflection, that that's not good. Dawson was suspended for 10 days without pay from January 9th to January 23rd, and he has to go to diversity training. He says that he's learned from this experience and hopes that others think twice before using the N word. I will never say any form of nigga. You know, I'm just saying nigga. Hey, the funny thing is, though. What if, what if my man ain't racist though? Like what if he just was saying it like how I, 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 people say it? What am I? Right? What am I That's true. Like that? like, what if he tried to say like how the students how, are saying? He said it, it just sound funny. It's, yeah, like, nigga. God, it's not key, but I don't think my guy <laughs> racist probably. You man. never know. Yeah, never that's know. true. Of nigga, I, you lot, know, I'm sure. But like you said, a lot of a lot of black people don't want you nobody that at in all. that. Yeah. Yeah, that's understandable too. You gotta. Yeah. And what did he say specifically to you? He said, sit down, nigga. Riley oh, Freeman got is a third grade student at J. Edgar Hoover Elementary School. He's a basketball play. player, an avid reader, and one day hopes to spread his philosophy through rap music. He was in class when he had a verbal exchange with his teacher, Joe Petto. But Mr. Petto said it was <laughs> Riley who used the N-word first. He told him to take his seat, and here comes this That's large crazy. insult. Right. And some of the words I've never even heard before. And I was just stunned. And I said, well, sit down, nigga. <laughs> it was right with him. Because that's what I've been trained to do. <laughs> that is not what he's been trained to do. He said, I used the word before, but I didn't. I wouldn't use that word ever. That word hurts people. Mr. Pedo playing for the first time. Ending in gur is the racial slur, but that he was using they a different shit. version of the word Down ending in da. That means the same as buddy or best pal. He insists that he was using the friendly version of the N-word. 
to better relate to Riley. I used the word. I, I say admit it. I thought there was a difference between nigger and nigga. Nigga. I to use this whole thing, but I guess I don't. <laughs> I need help. Whenever I hear the rappers, they say nigga. It's in all the music. Look, look, look. Rap songs that use the word nigga in a positive way. There's tons of them. Nigga, 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 all the time, nigga this, nigga that, nigga please, <laughs> bitch nigga, nigga, have you lost your mind, nigga, check that hoe, nigga, you bullshit, and break yourself, nigga, he says it so much, I don't even notice it anymore, oh, last Lord. week in lunch, Riley says to a classmate, can a nigga borrow a french fry, <laughs> that wasn't, oh my god, he said the word, uh, the n word, it was now, how is a nigga no. gonna borrow a fry, nigga, is you gonna give it back? I'm telling you, my inside voice didn't talk like that before he got it. Hey, that is so crazy. We met Fleece Johnson, a long-time inmate who practices a very different kind of homosexuality. Well, we have sexual desires, right? So you got a bunch of men locked up. Oh, I think I seen this a long time ago. All of them get hard. All of them haunted, all of them got sexual desires. So what are they gonna do? Both made them have a woman. You remember that? I don't remember that, but I remember mm -hmm. when they was talking. That's the man that was in the background. That um, the other one they the said that was one. a real thing. Oh, okay, now they said that was a real. No, that was, that's, that's why. Because I, I was saying in my head when I saw the other one, it sounds familiar. When it was um, talking about taking the money. Yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. yeah. I seen this a long time ago on YouTube. Did he know yeah. right? He said that you were real. A memorable story that Fleece told us was about the place and importance that booty has in a maximum. But he said like that. Right. And he went on about it and on about it. In his prison, booty. Was uh, more important than food, booty, a man's butt. What? It was more important. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was more booty, having some booty, was more important than drinking water, man. Huh? I like booty. When I see one, and he looks good to me. When I go see him, I say, you come here. Yes, I, like, I remember that. <laughs> when I first watched it, I was like, what is he talking about? Like, right. that's what he really be doing out there for real. That shit crazy, boy. To me. When I go see him, I say, you come here. I say, I'm telling you what. Uh, I don't like you. No more. Yeah, no. Uh, we can do it the easy way out of the hallway. So the y'all see yours, right? And it was always yes. You want to explain to me what you're doing here? I came so looking that's, for booty. That's, that's it what right it, there. With an underage boy? Oh, no. I ain't come looking for no little bars. I ain't got no milk, no cookies, nothing. I came looking for man's butt. A man's butt? Excuse me? Oh, I know who you are, Chris Hanson. But see, I, I call you Chris Hanson. I watch your TV show all the time. So you can go ahead and bring them cameras and them police is waiting outside. It don't make me no difference. Now, I tell you what. I like you, and I want you. Now, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. When you go to prison, the most important thing in your life is going to be booty. Yeah, man, listen to me. A man's That's it right there. Yeah. Booty, getting some booty is more important than eating food. It's more important than drinking water. That, if I see a man, <laughs> that's, that's a part. part right there. That's an order kept going. That's the like, like, 
Damn, that shit like remind me, like it it bringing back some memories. I gotta see I that one. I don't remember yeah. that one. You gotta thing. look it up. Yeah, that. I That's what like, everybody kept saying that was a real thing. That was Pete a real Johnson. thing because I had said in my head, I was like, but I didn't want to say it because I was like, maybe it wasn't a real thing. Yeah, <laughs> damn. It's more important to eat food. It's more important than drinking water. If I see a man I like, I tell him like this here. I like you. You like you. And I want you. And then we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. Lord, boy. Hey, that's what's up, though. Mm-hmm. They, I like so they how they got, match everything. Everything. Up so they got a reference to everything that went on the Boondocks videos. Okay, I like that. That's what it is, man. Mm-hmm. And let us know what y'all want to see next from us down in the comment section. And just smash that like button before y'all leave. It only take a second. You got anything for me? Y'all know how I be, Mr. Boy Drew. Catch y'all next Catch one. Catch y'all next one.